Welcome home, son. Your family owes the mob money. How much? Too much. Who murdered your family? It's time for them to pay. This city belongs to me. Rated M for Mature. Jimmy Thang from GameSpot here at E3 2016. I'm here speaking with uh, Frank Azor, General Manager of Alienware. And Frank, can you tell us what we're looking at here? So this is the world's first um, OLED gaming notebook. So this is a brand new product that we just announced yesterday. And um, like I said, it's OLED. So I mean, if you look at the quality of this display, it's just amazing. And the way we're able to do that is with the OLED technology. The OLED benefits give us a contrast ratio of 100,000 to one. It also gives us 104% color gamut, and we get a sub two millisecond response time. Typically in an LCD display, um, especially in a notebook one, the best performance you're able to get is about an eight millisecond response time. So that gives you a crisper image, less ghosting, less image bleed, especially during high action games and movies. Um, the color gamut, you can see it's pretty clear here. The reds, the greens, they just pop out so beautifully. It almost looks like you're looking at a 3D display, and part of that is because of the blacks. OLED has a huge advantage in that it doesn't require backlighting like LCD does. So pretty much every single pixel is, a, is a, a, an LED that can turn on or off. And by being able to turn it off and not having to have it backlit, you can get real blacks. Blacks that are so rich that they almost blend in with the border around the display. Play. So this product uh, just went on sale today, or yesterday, sorry, and um, it's uh, available for $12.99, a really aggressive price considering an OLED TV or an OLED monitor out there is typically two or three X more expensive than, um, than with their LCD equivalent. So we're really proud of this. It's the world's first, and yeah, like I said, it's available uh, immediately. Cool. I mean, can you walk us through you know, how, it, uh, how it differs from you know, how an LCD might uh, display an image? Yeah, so uh, OLED, like I said, every single pixel can turn on or off, and it, um, you can't do that on LCD right now. The technology doesn't allow you to do that. So what folks are doing is, you know, the way LCD is, uh, is uh, backlit is we typically have edge LEDs, um, and then you have a backlight panel that you illuminate, and then that is how you get the light to come through. Some um, premium TVs, for example, what they do is they'll put white LEDs behind the LCD display, and then they turn them on or off, and they may have like 50 LEDs or 150 LEDs, but nothing compares to the millions of organic LEDs that you're able to do here. So the um, amount of detail of where you can have black versus color and everything, uh, it's just unrivaled with an LCD display because of the inherent technology advantages that OLED has. Gotcha, and I know right next to it you guys have uh, you know LCD, and just looking at it in person, you know the blacks look much darker on the OLED display, uh, and uh, it, you know it trumps even uh, IPS uh, displays as well. Absolutely, I mean this is there's no better image quality right now um, in a notebook than what this OLED display is offering. It doesn't matter if it's IPS, any technology out there on an LCD. It cannot compare to what we're delivering with OLED. Again, because of just the technology's inherent advantages around the back, the way it backlights the, the images um, and uh, the color gamut, and then the motion blur. We offer some panels out there that have 104% color gamut, for example, that are LCD panels, but they don't have the benefit of the deep blacks, and they can't get you the um, the response time that the uh, OLED technology offers, which is that sub two millisecond response time. 104% color gamut, does that mean a 4% uh, th that there are 4% more colors, or can you sort of uh, clear it's that up? A, as compared to Adobe specification, that it's just a little bit better in than, uh, than the 100% the Adobe requirement that's out there, basic, not requirement, but the, the specification that they've defined. So we can go, a, a, we have a little bit more color saturation than that Adobe specification, is it? Yeah, I noticed that just like looking at the screen here, the greens, the greens look much better on, you know, on the OLED panel. Um, you know, right now a, a big buzzword when it comes to display technology is is HDR. Is this HDR or is it something different? How does it, how does it compare? So um, there are some specifications around HDR, specifically around uh, the brightness that a panel needs to be in order for it to be officially HDR qualified. This doesn't meet that 
requirement. This is about a 350 nit panel, and I believe HDR calls for something way higher than that. I think it's double that. Um, so it's not official HDR for that reason. But as you can see, I mean, it's kind of harder to, it's hard to imagine a panel brighter than this. I mean, you can see the image and the quality and everything of it is, um, is more than good enough out there. So I don't think that not meeting the HDR specification is going to hurt anybody's uh, appeal for this product. Gotcha. Cool. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, for more information on E3, stay tuned to GameSpot.com.